What's up, Jaycationers? If this area looks familiar to you, we are in Badorex, which is near my old school, Arnal Cadel. We're gonna meet up with my old coordinator and teachers from last year and have some lunch. So let's go check it out. That's pretty cool. That wasn't there last year when I was walking here. We're here at uh, Brasseria La Bolera in San Cugat, and I'm with all my favorite teachers in all of Catalonia. <laughs> Hello! Uh, Monte, Olga, Javi, what's up, man? Uh, <laughs> so, so we're having Catalan food for lunch. So this is going to be a treat. We're going to do a Catalan food video. So what, you, you guys will see it. They're going to they're going to explain us the Catalan foods here in this restaurant. House wine? This is the house wine. <coughs> These are the grandmothers. They both want, that's <laughs> typical, that's also typical Catalan. This yes. type of like, yes. pattern? Yes. Yeah, this type of pattern, yeah. Then, tomato. Get the tomato. Oh. Pa, pan tomate. Pan tomate. So it's basically pan con tomate? Pan con tomate. In Catalan. In Catalan. It's bread with yeah. tomato. Sounds tastier in Catalan. <laughs> yeah, sounds like tomate is like. Yes. The bread has been previously toasted, toasted. right? And then you, you, you seize and you make like. Rub it. Rub, rub, rub. With the garlic. So now we got it. And you do it once or twice depending how much you like. How much garlic? garlic yeah. And then the tomato. Really intense. I love garlic. Yeah. <laughs> and now you have it. And now we put the oil. And that's olive oil. Olive oil. The olive oil is thick, it's yeah. really green. And you let it like this, and then some salt. Finishing touches. And that's it. And then you can eat it. Bon appetit. Yeah. Oh, gracias. Okay. Okay, fetch un otro que. She's doing very well. She can do them yeah. both. Yeah, she can do that. Where, what's the, what is this? Uh, asparagus? Yeah. But what do you call it in, uh, in Catalan? Uh, asparagus ver. With the same sauce as you had with calçots? Yeah, oh, this is the same calçot. Yeah. Calçots are so good, guys. It's just not in season. It ends in March, the season. So um, in, in, in exchange, you get asparagus. So now that it's springtime here in Catalonia, calçots is a famous dish around this region. Um, it's a spring onion with some fantastic sauce. So I'm really excited to try it. I've never tried it here before. It's got to get messy. You got to peel it and you dip it in the sauce. It's so good. The sauce. Oh, I can't even explain the sauce. It's got a little like chipotle type taste, but it's not chipotle. It's it's amazing. It's out of this world. Artichokes or artichokes? Artichokes. Barbecue artichokes. This? Um, that's aubergines. Aubergines a la brasa. And? Patatas frigadas. Frigadas? Frigidas. Patatas frigidas. Are you in Monte? Correct. Well, the way you do it, we do it. It's like you shake it like this. Yeah. Okay, like little by little. Not the bar one. Yeah, the bar one. As 
Shish Kunin, Conejo, un conejo, or rabbit. Poor rabbit. It depends how. No glasses. The same. You got the same. And Chavi, what did you get? Botifarra de Roquefort. Botifarra de Roquefort. Kunin is a double meaning also. What is it? Well, Chavi will tell you. Okay. Okay. It is a meat I have never tried in my life. This one? <laughs> Not on a dish. I know everybody <laughs> loves desserts and stuff, but like here in Catalonia, like every they have like a detailed menu. Like you go to a restaurant, usually they have like two or three desserts. Here, check this out. You have a whole menu. Two pages. Two pages. <laughs> That's Two a pages lot. Of homemade desserts. Homemade desserts. Yeah. Plus then. And then look at that. Ten and more. Four and more pages. <laughs> and you already know what I want. Yeah. Oh, that's mel y mato. Oh, sorry. Orange juice. That's mato <laughs> y mel. That's the way you do it. On the place. I, 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 I